Hello, this is part 5 of the Raspberry Pi War Tank project. This is a minor update for this episode. So both motors have been replaced by the new um, old printer motor. Um, this The second one has been hooked up to the breadboard as well and both of them work. So if we press, wait, if we turn first turn on the power motor, because I always turn it off because it's just a waste of battery. Um, if we turn on the power module and we press F5, they both work epically. Now one thing that I have noticed from the motors, let's wait for it to stop, there we go. One thing that I have noticed from the motors is that since they are both sharing the same um, uh, IC and the same power module, it doesn't give them 5 volts each. Um, it's, it splits the voltage between them because I've noticed that the power of the motor is less when I connected both of them together than when it was only one of them connected. Um, and also, as you can see, I, I didn't jack the tank this time because um, both of them run freely since the motors are so large. And I had noticed this um, immediately when I had the track because I had one of... because the track is made out of these little Lego pieces. Um, this track had one less. I had to add one more. That's why it's so loose now because when it had one less, it was a bit tighter. Um, when I powered only that motor, it ran just fine. But with both motors connected, it didn't run. It wasn't powerful enough to, to turn the track. So I had to add one of them to make this very loose in order for the motor to be able to turn, to rotate the tracks. So that, that's how I, that, oh, that's when I realized that like, uh, the power mod the power module is sharing the power between the two um, motors. I thought that it would give them five volts each because this is a nine volt battery, and it outputs five volts. So I'm like, yeah, it's got a lot of voltage spare. Um, maybe it would give them like four point five volts each to amount to nine volts. But no, it's just five volts, and it's split between the two motors. So they're a lot weaker now. If it would have been these. Um, I would have been in big trouble because I would have had to take off the tracks and just have the motors rotate without the tracks, which would be kind of lame. But at least now I can just run the module, the code, and have both tanks run. So that's basically it for this episode. In the next episode, I am going to hopefully um, connect the joystick to the motors. So when, depending on which direction the joystick is, the motors would turn. So yeah, I will see you in the next part. Bye bye!